Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace, mercy, and blessings. Welcome to another Science Amazing Adventure, where the search for the truth continues. Hang on tight, for we will answer your what, why, and how questions. Let us discover the beauty of the world together, for in the great minds of young scientists like you, learning never stops. Let me take you where your imaginations will allow you to go. This is your science teacher, Teacher Aina, your guide in exploring and discovering the world of science for. A scientific morning, my dear young scientists. In our previous episode, you learned that materials undergo changes with their characteristics or properties through many ways. For our today's episode, we shall learn what will happen to materials when mixed with other materials. Get ready, young scientists! Prepare your PPS! pen, paper, and self-learning module, for you will be using them in our science adventure. Some of the materials in our environment undergo change when they are mixed with other materials. How does this happen? Take a look on this situation. Lorna and Aya are playing in the house. Then, they feel hungry, so their mother decides to prepare their favorite halo-halo. Young scientists like Lorna and Aya, do you love Halo Halo too? Yes, everybody loves Halo Halo. Young scientists, look at the Halo Halo. Can you identify the different ingredients of the Halo Halo? Great! Yes, the ingredients of the Halo Halo are recognizable. What are the ingredients of Halo Halo? Excellent! The ingredients of Halo Halo are leche flan, sweet corn kernels, jackfruit and banana, gelatin, condensed milk, ice cream, and crushed ice. Young scientist, do you know how to make Halo Halo? How is it made? Exactly, it is made by mixing all the different ingredients. Young scientists, before we proceed to our lesson today, let us recall our lesson from our previous episode. Oh, someone is knocking. Hi, Tech Machino. How are you today? That's good to hear. You know what? You're just in time, Tech Machino. We need you to help us recall our lesson from our previous episode. We learned that materials undergo change when mixed with other materials. Some materials, when mixed with other materials, can become unrecognizable. The resulting mixture looks the same all throughout. This mixture is called a homogeneous mixture. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture wherein the individual components of the material cannot be distinguished from each other after mixing. Hence, it has a uniform composition or appearance. Great! Thank you so much, Tech Machino! Till next time! Young scientists, today we shall learn that materials undergo change when they are mixed with other materials. 
Look at the picture on the screen. Isn't this food delicious? That's right! Fruit salad is prepared by mixing different fruits with condensed milk. A mixture is a substance made by mixing other substances together. It is a product of the random distribution of one substance through another without a chemical reaction. Examples of mixtures are fruit salad, halo halo, mixed nuts, and vegetable salad. Mixed materials can be classified depending on the appearance of the resulting mixture. Some solid materials, when mixed with other materials, can still be recognized or distinguished from each other. This mixture is called a heterogeneous mixture. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture which does not have a uniform composition. The properties of each of the materials in a heterogeneous mixture do not change. Their sizes, shapes, and color remain the same after mixing. An example of this is when you mix the different fruits for a fruit salad. After mixing, the different fruits combined in the mixture can still be recognized or distinguished from each other. Other examples are pizza, vegetable salad, and halo halo. Science for learners are always eager to discover and learn, right? Yes, indeed! So get ready for it is activity time! These are the materials that we need. Carrots, a cucumber, lettuce, a pineapple, cheese, dried grapes, and salad dressing. Let's start. First, gather the different ingredients. Wash and slice them according to your desired shape. Second, get the mixing bowl and put the sliced vegetables in. Third, add the salad dressing and dried grapes. Lastly, top it with grated cheese. Young scientists, let's answer the following questions. Number one, can you still recognize the different vegetables after they were mixed? Very good! Yes, the different vegetables can be distinguished from each other. Number two, did the shapes and sizes of the sliced vegetables change after they were mixed with each other? Correct! The shapes and sizes of the sliced vegetables did not change. They remained the same. Number 3. What mixture is formed after mixing the different ingredients? Excellent! The mixture formed is a heterogeneous mixture. Well done, young scientists! I am very happy for you got all the correct answers in our activity. So for that, you deserve your first star. Young scientists, in order to further deepen your understanding, let's have another activity. Let's identify if the following pictures are heterogeneous mixtures. Put a check mark if the picture is a heterogeneous mixture and a cross mark if it is not. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. Mixture of rice grains and stones. Very good! A mixture of rice grains and stones is a heterogeneous mixture. The answer is check. Number two, mixture of oil and water. Correct! A mixture of oil and water in a glass of water is a heterogeneous mixture. The answer is check. Number three, mixture of coffee and hot water. 
Right, the mixture of coffee and hot water is not a heterogeneous mixture. It is a homogeneous mixture. The answer is X. Number 4. Mixture of sand and nails. Excellent! The mixture of sand and nails is a heterogeneous mixture. The answer is check. Materials mixed with other materials undergo change and can be beneficial in various ways. In our activity a while ago, we mixed different kinds of vegetables and it became a vegetable salad. What do you think are the benefits of eating vegetables? Correct! Vegetables have many nutrients that protect our body against heart disease and cancer. Good! It helps boost our immune system. Very good! Vegetables contain vitamin A, vitamin C, folate, and fiber. Vegetables are always part of a good healthy diet. Great! Vegetables are low in fat and calories, which help maintain good health. So you see, young scientists, eating vegetables has many benefits. So when you eat, don't set aside the vegetables. Eat them because they are good for your body. Young scientists, for today's lesson, we learned that materials undergo change when mixed with other materials. Some solid materials, when mixed with other materials, can still be recognized or distinguished from each other. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture that does not have a uniform composition. The properties of each of the materials in a heterogeneous mixture do not change. Their sizes, shapes, and color remain the same after mixing. Young scientists, can you name some of the heterogeneous mixtures found in your home? Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Very good! A sewing kit. It is an example of a heterogeneous mixture where you can find the needles, buttons, thread, and scissors mixed in the kit. Correct! A laundry basket with dirty clothes. It's another example of a heterogeneous mixture where you can find clothes of different colors and sizes. That's right! A fruit basket. A fruit basket that contains different fruits like Apples, mangoes, bananas, and a watermelon is also an example of a heterogeneous mixture. Young scientists, are you ready for our assessment? I know you are all ready. So, let's start. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your paper. Number 1. A mixture which has no uniform composition. Letter A, heterogeneous. Letter B, homogeneous. Letter C, solution. Letter D, suspension. The correct answer is letter A. Number 2. A mixture of oil and water is an example of blank. Letter A, heterogeneous. Letter B, homogeneous. Letter C, medicine. Letter D, suspension. The correct answer is letter A. Number 3. The following is a heterogeneous mixture. Letter A, coffee. Letter B, fruit salad. Letter C, orange juice. Letter D, water. The correct answer is letter B. Number 4. Which of the following is not a heterogeneous mixture? Letter A. Fruit salad. Letter B. Macaroni salad. 
Letter C, sugar solution. Letter D, vegetable salad. The correct answer is letter C. Number 5. Which of the following statements is not true about a heterogeneous mixture? Letter A. Components of a heterogeneous mixture can be recognized after mixing. Letter B. A heterogeneous mixture has uniform composition. Letter C. Materials in a heterogeneous mixture do not blend at all. Letter D. The material's color, shape, and size remain the same after mixing. The correct answer is letter B. Young scientists, you have taken part in another learning session today by tuning in in our science adventure. I hope we answered your what, why, and how questions. For in the great minds of young scientists like you, learning never stops. Follow where your imaginations will allow you to go. Once again, this is your science teacher, Teacher Aina. Remember, science is full of discoveries. Continue to search for the truth. Don't forget to follow our official DepEd TV YouTube channel and Facebook page so you can watch your lessons anytime, anywhere. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Wassalam!